completing a task without the customary tools to perform the task. It's the ultimate sign of perseverance. Imagine functioning through your average day without arms or legs. Our Matt Barnes reports on a Columbus teenager who's embracing that challenge. If I do get weird looks, I really don't care. You can't let it get me down. If I let it get me down, you know, I ain't just not going to be able to do nothing. Meet Josh McKinney, a high school freshman with a passion for bowling. Here at Wayne Webb's Columbus Bowl, Josh works tirelessly to get better at a sport he never thought he would play after contracting bacterial meningitis at two and a half years old. I asked my mom for a glass of water and I had purple blotches all over my skin and they had to rush her to the hospital. When we got him there, they told us he'd probably had about an hour to live. But with the disease quickly taking over his body, amputation became his only option to stay alive. I knew that it was going to be pretty extreme and that was really hard. But ever since then, Josh has surprised us and he's amazed us with the things he does. Fast forward to today, no hands, no feet, no problem. I fish, I play basketball, I play football, pretty much everything. But bowling is where he really excels. He averaged 130 this past season for Independence High School, his career high, 218. And while his technique is not pretty, it's effective. I just do it. I can't explain, you know. I just get up there and just, you know, try to let the ball go without it slipping. I bowl a lot. I'm a power player now. I'm used to seeing, you know, people hook the heck out of the ball. It's like me, and, and then I see him, and I mean, he's hooking the ball, and I'm just like, how is this even possible? I just like to keep amazing people. They think I can't do nothing because I have a disability. Well, they're wrong. In Columbus, Matt Barnes, NBC4 Sports.